in here. What's up, everybody? It's your favorite big-headed little fella's favorite nerd. And today we are looking at the TFC Hercules, the super deformed version. This is on loan to me from William Fong. I'm not sure if you know him, but he is awesome. And I got to meet him at TFCon, and it's just one of those one of those few experiences where, like, you know, you you, you talk to somebody online, and then you you know you hope they're cool in person, and they end up being everything you wished and hoped they were or thought they were or assumed they were very 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 cool dude he let me take a look at these uh he also put his head on my shoulder and i'm not sure if you don't know the guy he's got a beautiful head of hair he put his head on my shoulder and i wish i could find that t-shirt I, I just i didn't care about it at the time and i discarded it and it's probably end up in the wash you know i have no clue where it is what this is this isn't it it's not it it's another it's not it so anyway, we'll start with vehicle mode. We got some silver paint there, rolls, and then we have the, the bucket that kind of articulates it to hinges. And this is die cast here, which is a nice added bonus. So that's painted. Looks good. These guys don't transform into robots, which I find a little weird, but we just turn this around, you fold this up, and then you bring the arms, you know, what would be the arms down, and that is the leg. This fella, we got some silver paint here, some red paint for the headlights that looks pretty cool. And then we have this piece, which is die cast and does swivel a bit. And underneath we have some silver detailing, some red brake lights. This you just bring out on this double hinge and turn around. This is your ankle rocker. And this guy's done. Actually, no, you got to flip that piece down. This guy, this is die cast here. This might be die cast here, this piece as well. Some silver paint accents, some gray, green paint, obviously. Possibly black, I think. I'm not sure. And then this piece, and it does have the working pistons, which is cool. Red painted details. They're a little outside the lines, uh, especially this one and this one. They weren't lined up quite right. Silver paint in the back, and then some yellow paint details on the side there. So actually a fair amount of little accents for, for this little piece. Spin this around and fold it up. Spin this around. This becomes the shoulder piece, and then you take your parts forming piece, so this will go like this, and you plug the arm into there, and then that's all done. This one, we got die cast here, working pistons as well, some silver paint accents, some black paint accents on the window. This does articulate a bit, even rolls, yellow paint accents. Decent enough, I'd say. Uh, the, compli the, the transformation for this one is quite complicated. Uh, try to keep up. So this comes around like this, and then this inserts into there, and you're done. And then we have hook, and does this extend? It does. What a nice little added bonus. And we have this. I feel like this should do something. These articulate. You know, it feels like these pistons should do something, but I'm not exactly sure what that something would be. This swivel, so that's nice. We have silver paint accents, red paint accents, yellow paint on there. It's supposed to be the caution symbols, but they just threw uh, yellow paint on it. But I think, you know, given the size and stuff, and they've painted these guys up fairly well, it's forgivable. There might be some, uh, that feels like plat. Oh, look how far that extends. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. And then to transform this guy, it has these two things. I'm not entirely sure why. I can't seem to figure out a reason for them. I don't know. But this comes around like this. This spins down and this folds down. And that's pretty much it, I believe. These plug in and then you bring out these for the arms. Now, it does have a parts forming piece that we'll add, which is this. These articulate here on little hinges, so that's nice enough. And this just plugs in to there. Long haul is a little less graceful. We have some silver paint, some styrofoam stuck in there and there. It says styrofoam packaging. The I'm not sure why they went with the the black bed there. I'm not sure that was the right choice either, but whatever. The paint on it looks good. The silver, the red, and the black. Transformation, flip this up. Flip these two pieces up. You got to bring down this whole piece here. It's on a ratchet, and it's a Henri sucker. And then get the the legs turned around. And there you have that. And then this piece just slips down onto the back. And then that stays up like this. All right, so let's build them. This comes up. This comes up. Actually, let's connect this first. That tends to be the best way to do Debbie. So these two pieces insert into there. 
and then into there, into there, arms, into there, arm, into there. This came out, it just plugs back in. Fear not, Mr. Fong. All right, so we'll set him up. The head has two tabs here and two corresponding slots, and we'll plug that in. <laughs> And that's pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous, but it's pretty cool. I'll get them cleaned up, we'll take a look at them, and we'll talk about a few extra accessories. So he comes with an extra face with these gritting teeth, which normally I would hate, but under these circumstances seems wildly appropriate for some reason, uh, with the silver finish on it. And he comes with your standard issue Devastator gun, which is a bit deformed as well. Uh, these two pieces do plug in, so you can kind of make a longer barrel if you'd like, which might be a little cool. Let's see. There. Like that. I think that looks okay. And we have some silver paint accents and some decent sculpt work. And then we have look what looks like screw covers and then two pieces that will add on to the hips that just insert on the ball pegs. All right, so let's talk about them. The head is on a ball peg, so you get a little bit up. A little bit down, left to right, we have the red visor across, and then we have the silver paint and red translucent plastic there at the top. It's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know, I like it. And then we have a waist swivel that works fairly well. We have the shoulders that get you a hinge up to about there. If you move these out of the way, you get the swivel all the way around, and you can fold these back to kind of cover down on the joint. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow that gets you the full range. Wrist swivel. Thumb is on a ball peg. Fingers are individually articulated on one base pin knuckle. So no real issues there. Same for the other side, except you get a little bit more range because of the, you can manipulate that a bit better. This one, oh yeah, this one you can too. So yeah, nothing wrong with that. Now, we have a little bit of trouble in paradise with these hips, uh, much like the regular TFC one. So they're just friction universals. These are the pieces that we plugged in for the for the covers. They can move out a bit, and then you can get the leg all the way up and out to the side and back a good bit. We have the thigh swivel, and then you have a knee on a double hinge that gets you 90 degrees. But none of that stuff is ratcheted, and he is pretty heavy with all the die cast and stuff, so he, he, it doesn't... He's not really able to use them uh, like you wish he would. He has a tendency to flip, topple over. So you kind of got to get him balanced, posed, and then get out of his way. And then we have ankle articulation, which is pretty much just a rocker here. And then a, you know, a, a swivel here, which basically acts as a rocker as well. Back of him cleans up fairly well. So he's got some issues, unfortunately, with stability. The old Devastator curse. But... Uh, he's very cool nonetheless. Final thoughts wise, I think it's a really cool set. The negatives are that there's hip issues and the kind of hip covers are always popping off as you go to manipulate them. So that's kind of a bummer. There's a lot of weight in the arms and stuff. So the joints don't really support a lot of the bulk and anything really dynamic. But that's 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 it. And my, my other negative is like, you know, I wish they turned into robots as well. That just would have been a bit more impressive. But outside of that, he's really cool and he's fun and he's like a fun little representation of Devastator to have like on an office shelf or something like that. I think there's a lot of like charming things about seeing this character like in a very kind of playful uh, way, you know, and I don't really have a whole lot of complaints about it, especially if you just have him kind of standing, you know, looking like a little mean fella. I think it's pretty cool, and he, he's kind of fun to mess with. It's just the hips that that eventually irritate you with him. But I think it's cool. I think it would look great with the other kind of super deformed releases from, it was a Master Made with the Omega and the Scorponok and the Trypticon and all that. Like, it'd probably be cool. I wish I had them. I would put them next to him right now so that you could see that. But I do appreciate the opportunity to look at this. Uh, I do think it's pretty cool. I do ultimately recommend it. I wouldn't spend more than 60 bucks or so for it. Like, I don't know what they go for. I don't, I don't have no, I have no idea. Yeah, but you know I think it does look I think it does look like a fun little representation of Devastator and if you're a huge Devastator fan I think that it, you'd be happy with this just know that there's some stability issues thanks for listening thanks for watching till next time take care